I'm going to head back to artboard number one where we had our wildlife theme and then I'm going to edit the sun in here. So I'm going to pick up my zoom tool and then we can see it's nice and clearly. Switch to my selection tool and then just make sure that the background is locked. We probably don't need to edit the titles or the copy now. We just want to focus on the artwork layer. So this will allow me then to click and drag across those three circles, which contain, as you can see, the same fill color, but a black stroke. And then I go to the effect menu, go down to distort and transform, and then choose zigzag. I'll move this dialog to the side as it always pops up in front of your artwork. So what we have now is it's an effect, but it makes it look like those three circles are more complex paths. And it adds a zigzag, which can be either a corner or a smooth zigzag. I'm going to set mine and leave it to smooth. And then you can increase or decrease how large those zigzags are. I'll leave that set to about two millimeters. But in terms of the number of ridges in my zigzag, well, again, you can increase that or you could decrease it, whichever one you wish to go for. And for mine, well, I'm going to increase that a little bit, somewhere between 20 and 25 in there. I'm going to click OK. Notice that on the right hand side of the screen in the properties panel, that zigzag effect is shown as a clickable link where you could make edits to it again in the future. Uh, that's another example of transform effects inside of Illustrator.